Hi, China. For NBC Europe exclusive coverage of the 1997 China Open. Men's final, Zoran Primorich facing Kim Tuck Soo. Gino Red, along with Anders Thunstrom, former national team player and coach for Team Sweden. Your thoughts on this men's final matchup? Uh, I think it could be a quite interesting uh, battle because uh, once again we have one European against one Asian. Kim Tak Soo, Korea, is a very good fighter. He plays with the foreign topspin and uh, he will certainly make some uh, unbelievable foreign topspin during the match. That I'm sure of. Soran Primonac is more like a steady player. He is very all-round skilled. And you will see that Soran can play and use both his backhand and forehand equally good. So it's a very interesting matchup. And I think uh, and I hope it will be a tight game. We've seen Zoran before on NBC Europe's coverage of uh, the Pro Circuit Tour. And what we notice from Zoran is he's very, very active. His feet are constantly moving. He is. And he w wants to pump him up uh, constantly. And I think... Uh, uh, that's part of uh, Soran's uh, mental game against uh, opponents as well, that he, he wants to show that he's in the game and, and that he's uh, there to, to, to win and to grab uh, part for himself. So but you will also notice, I think, that Kim tak Su is also not the silent type. He will, he will do his utmost here to, to, to try to find the holes in, in pretty much uh, defense. In terms of international rankings, Zoran comes in at number five on the pro circuit. Kim tak Su not even in the top 30. Yeah, and I think that uh, a bit depends on that Kim tak Su hasn't played that much of tournaments before. Kim tak Su is a very skilled player and a very, very knowledgeable player and, and has a bunch of good results. So he's a very good player. What's interesting to notice, though, is that there is one Korean and one Croatian playing the Open Finals in China, which is a bit of a setback, perhaps, for the Chinese. We're in stark contrast. In the women's final, it was China against China, which, incidentally, if you just joined us late, Li Zhu of China won in straight sets over Wen Nan. And here in the men's final, Zoran Primorich now takes a 5-4 lead early in game number one of the championship. Unlucky there for Primo. Great rally, and that's a typical game for uh, Kim Tak Su. You can see here as a pen holder, he will use uh, almost to try to play foreign toss and all over the table. So he, you will see Kim Tak Su running around on the table, while Soran Primo will try to to really use the corners as much as possible to have him running. But you will notice Soran will stay in his backhand side to play backhand. But look at Zoran moving it all over the place. Takes a 6-5 lead. He's really moving Kim Tuck Su all over the court. Look in this motion how, how good that reflection or that reaction is from Zoran. Oh, Kim Tuck Su disappointed about that one. Let that one get away. It's a bit of an unforced error there. The service was actually long, so he had a chance to attack immediately. Taksu was trying to change up the pace a little bit. It didn't work out for him. He now trails 8-5. For Kim Taksu, it's crucial that he gets the first foreign topspin or the first attack. So he would try to keep his receives short as possible. And that sometimes can be that, that uh, the, the receive is too short. And there you could see Soran's uh, tremendous backhand. It's just that reaction, that quick snap. And there you can see also the, the advantage by having the handshake style because you can, you're equal flexible on both backhand and forehand side. So Soran is using that very, very good. And his backhand side is one of the best in the world. Terrific smash. And now he just seems to be getting more and more aggressive with the play. Soran has started this match very, very good. You get the sense that as things are working for Zoran, he starts to take more risks. And when the risks work out for him, he gets that much more aggressive. Yeah, of course. Uh, and the risks, which is rewarded, gains confidence as well. So I think that's natural that he can play more relaxed and, and, and continue to take chances and go for it. Kim's on serve, now trailing by four. 
his confidence right now badly needs a good run on his own serve. Good looking rally. Kim keeps it alive. And Zorn finally puts it away. Oh, that's, uh, that's beautiful. You can see the last four and topspin from Zoran is, is real, real wide, and it's a real angle he finds there with his four and topspin. No chance for Kim. But to his credit, Kim did make a terrific effort there to keep that rally alive where he did. Yeah, and his footwork is tremendous. One of the best in the world. You can see how, how quick he's on his feet. And you can hear the crowds enjoying it because they're just buzzing. This is just terrific table tennis. That's very high quality, and it's like you're saying, you saw on start here is tremendous. Kim's got to take advantage of his service opportunity, or Zorn's going to just run away with us. Zorn into the net. Kim pulls to within five. 12 7. Normally, uh, Kim Taksu's foreign uh, service is quite tricky. He used a lot of different spins and, and normally get advantage of that. What a great shot. What a great shot. Kim has to just look at admire a passing shot like that. At the moment, it's uh, Soran for uh, all the pennies. And he looks very confident, relaxed. Gina right along with Anders Unstrom, exclusive coverage of the 1997 China Open on NBC Europe. And for those of you who just can't get enough table tennis information, you can get all the stats, all the rankings, all the results on our website at www.ittf.com. You want up to date table tennis information and stats? That's our website. Kim seems to have just lost concentration now, Anders. Yeah, he's in trouble, and uh, like, uh, like you're saying, I think he, he's struggling, and he's, I think he's working very hard in his mind to, to find a recipe to, to really get out of this trouble. I think Soran is uh, dominating this game so far. We've got a very, very knowledgeable table tennis crowd here at Suhai in China, and, and, and the crowd, you can just hear the hum with every reaction yeah. to every point, and I think that's getting to Kim tuk because the crowd realizes he's in big trouble in this point. And now having said that, Zorn is starting to make some unforced errors. Yeah, you can hear the crowd. They know exactly what it was about, and, and they, they know table tennis very well in China. With that, Kim tuk Su is within five points, trailing 15-10, and he's got serve. And there goes Primrich as soon as he starts to slip a little, he jumps right back at you. Yeah, and if you notice very carefully that the receive was building up the point. Very good and very short receive on Kim tak -Soo's forehand side. And then after that, uh, Soran could attack himself. Very good receive from Soran. Good idea there by Kim, trying to go up the line. It just didn't work out for him. He now trails 17-10. There, Kim tak -Soo proved that he can play backhand as well, uh, despite his uh, penholder grip. And that is a difficult and tricky shot for a penholder, to have a real powerful backhand. And back comes Primrich. Just jammed Kim, and there was really nowhere Kim could go. Two points from the first set. 2011 Primrich. Went quickly here, and Soran made 4-1 in uh, Kim tak -Soo's service, which is really, really good. And uh, it looks like he's on his way to clinch the first set. Uh. Set point. And there's set number one. Zoran Primrich takes set number one of the 1997 China Open. And really, he deserved that victory because he was definitely the better of the two in the opening set. Yeah, and he was up to a flying start as well. He, he really set the pace immediately and, and put pressure on Kim tak -Soo. And Kim tak -Soo has a huge hurdle to overcome. While Primrich receives some instruction, we're going to take a break. More on NBC Europe right after this. El Hamburg, it's NBC. 
China. NBC Europe's exclusive coverage of the 1997 China Open. Zoran Primerich, number five in the world, taking set number one over Kim Tuck Su of Korea, 21-11. It's going to be interesting to see here now if Kim Tuck Su changed something in his game, trying to, to get some more own attacks. I think that's the only chance for Kim to come into this match, that he can make some points with his foreign topspin, like he did there. That's his game, and he has to play that way. We'll see if he can maintain that aggressiveness. Now, in the first set, what happened, Anders, every time Kim Tuck Su got aggressive, Zoran would come back equally aggressive. And when he wins the point, then Kim Tuck gets in a little bit of trouble just like that. Yeah, and what was really, really impressive in the first set was uh, Zoran's defense game by blocking. He had some terrific reactions on, on Kim Tuck Su's foreign topspins. And I think that took a bit of edge of, of, of Kim Tuck Su. the net. Once again, it looks like Soran has full control over where the ball is coming, and he's more or less deciding where uh, Kim tak should should play the next ball. And not only does he decide the location, he also decides the pace, because some of his blocks he takes a little off the return and slows it down, and then he quickly snaps it back to p increase the pace as well. He seems to be controlling every aspect of this match right now. Chance to put it away. And Kim Tuck Su keeping it alive. Give him credit for surviving as long as he did in that rally. Great rally. And you can see here, it's a school book example how you play a pen holder when he's far away. You keep him in the back and corner until he makes the mistake. Because pen holder from far below, very, very, is no power in his backhand side. Very, very difficult. A less experienced player than Zoran Primorich might have gotten a little overly aggressive and put that one into the wasteland but instead he held on took his time won the point and has now won another now leads 4-1 on change of service Kim Tuck Su just taking a moment to kind of relax slow the pace down he knows that right now Zoran Primorich is basically just steamrolling yeah, if you look at the slow motion here once again it's a good chance for uh, Kim Tuck Su to make the point there with his foreign toss and he's doing like you're saying sometimes an arm force there or and at this stage of the match, he can't afford that. He has to make the point with his foreign topspin. Long. Five one. For those of you who've been following the tour here on NBC Europe, this is our eighth of 14 stops on this year's tour. Of course, all building down to the Pro Tour Grand Finals in Hong Kong with $220,000 US on the line top 16 men and women at the end of the tour will be invited to Hong Kong to play for all the cash. Oh, beautiful.
Kim tak likes a lot. Top spin against top spin. He's very, very good at that. And, and I think that is scientific for the game is that uh, pretty much is winning the point. We'll hear it again. And now it looks like Kim tak is just tiring out. He trails 19-10 and trails two sets to love. Zoran Primorich just two points away from the 1997 China Open here at Tsuhai, China. Primorich not letting up. He's enjoying every moment of this final. Match point, Zoran Primorich. Kim tuk -soo has battled long and hard, but I think he realizes he has been well overmatched on this day. And what a performance by Primoraj. Unbelievable. Match point, championship point, Zoran Primoraj. Take it into the stands. Primoric just keeping the point alive, but there it is. It's over. Zoran Primoric, the 1997 China Open champion. Yang Kim tak is playing the last two or three points uh, like an exhibition, and he's uh, giving the crowd something to, to share about in a way. And you can see how, how much spin it is in the ball. That makes it possible to do this. But interesting, though, good sportsmanship there by Primorich. Primorich could have just put this easily away, but he just wanted to keep things active. Let the crowd enjoy just one last point as he takes the 1997 championship. And with that championship, Primorich now moves up in the overall standings from number five to number three in the men's singles action. A big jump by Zoran Primorich. Speaking of big jumps, in the women's singles standings, Li Zhu, with her victory at the 1997 China Open, goes from number 13 to number 5. Wang Nan, with her final appearance, goes from number 9 to number 4. And that wraps it up for the 1997 China Open. Next up for us here on NBC Europe is the Polish Open from Gdansk, Poland. We'll see you then. Until next time, for Anders Dunstrom and the entire NBC Europe crew, I'm Gino Reda saying so long and thanks for joining us.